Hello world and welcome to Love Health Bliss. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a honey oatmeal electrolyte mask, which is ultra moisturizing. What you'll need is some old fashioned rolled oats, manuka honey, a mortar, Himalayan salt, distilled water, and please try not to use tap water, it has icky chemicals in it, and you need about 10 to 20 minutes for the whole process. Manuka honey has an antibacterial component that sets it apart from the other honeys. It is also antimicrobial and antiviral, as well as antioxidants that can help it increase vitality and immunity. Oatmeals have anti-inflammatory properties and is suitable for all skin types, as well as acting as a natural moisturizer by removing the dead skin cells. The benefits of Himalayan salt are Enormous because of the minerals in it, it has electrolytes, increases hydration, balances pH levels, and so much more. You should actually switch your sea salt to Himalayan salt. All right, so let's get started. First, I'm going to take my mortar. If you don't have a mortar, you can use a regular bowl. I suggest a glass bowl as well as a wooden spoon. If you don't have a wooden spoon, a regular spoon and bowl will be fine. Let's get started. First we're going to take our old-fashioned organic rolled oats and we're going to put one tablespoon inside our bowl or mortar. And we're going to take a pinch of Himalayan salt, a fourth of a tablespoon, let's say. And here I have raw honey and I also have manuka honey. This is what we're going to be using or what I'm going to be using. But if you don't have manuka honey, then go ahead and use raw honey. And this we're going to be using a fourth, almost a half a tablespoon. If you want a half a tablespoon, go ahead. It'll be extra beneficial for you. But I use a little bit less than a half a tablespoon of manuka honey. And here's my vapor distilled water with electrolytes already added in it but we're going to need one tablespoon of water purified water I added two tablespoons by accident don't go by this video one tablespoon of oatmeal one tablespoon of water so now here we're going to start grinding this is the most important part so you're going to want to grind the oats to the point where a white starchiness is coming out into the liquid. That is the um, part that moisturizes your skin. You want to keep on crushing the oats as much as you can. Because this mask is extra moisturizing. Believe me, I used it the day that my skin felt a little bit irritated. And this soothed my skin and cleared it up. And I must say that you must drink lots of water to heal from the inside out as well as you healing your outside in so like I said crush this uh, mixture as much as you can mix it up because after this we're gonna start putting it on our face and if you want actually for extra moisturization I suggest you add some aloe vera gel all right hi so wash your face first after your face is all washed you're going to take your mixture and start applying it on your face. I'm going to speed this up for the purposes of the length of this video to be short. So here's the consistency. I added a little bit more oats into my mixture because I added a little bit too much water. But you should get a consistency that's not too watery but can stick on your face. You still have pieces of oatmeal inside the face mask, so use that to be an exfoliator for your skin. So try to rub it in little circles. Try to get all the areas of your face. If there's certain areas that you want extra concentrated, I suggest you just put a clump of oatmeal on that spot. This mask is really ultra moisturizing, ultra smoothing and repairing. And we're going to, if you feel like it, you could just slather this whole mixture all over your lips too. It'll make your lips feel super soft and exfoliate them slightly as well. So after I put this mask on my face, I'm going to sit and let it dry for about five to 10 minutes. I try, I usually do it for 10 minutes. All 
Alright, so I basically put as much of the mixture as I can on my face, which is perfect for one whole face mask. Full coverage. So cool. Now I'm going to wash my hands, but I'm going to let this dry, like I said, for 10 minutes. Then I'm going to have going to wash it off, pat it dry, and from then on you could put whatever moisturizing routine that you do. You can go ahead and check out my video out for my moisturizer in my video section from previously. So if you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I hope this mask is very beneficial for you. Have a great day everybody.